Hello and welcome to another episode of embellishments for our little mini pocket journal. Here are the four that we've already made. Flowers, pockets, altered paper clips, and clusters. Today, we are going to be making this little guy. This is a combo bookmark, pocket, belly band, and it's removable and you have journaling space as well. So let's get started. If you haven't already been joining me for this series, then please look at the playlist below in the description box for all the episodes where we start to make this journal and then we add the five embellishments. And after today's embellishment, then we will only have one episode left where we will add this little piece of felt here for needles if you would like to make this a needle book and we have one additional little embellishment back here and then we will put everything together for all 15 of the journals that I am currently making. Today's little embellishment is a combo that I came up with after watching all different kinds of YouTube videos and deciding I wanted to smash them all up into one thing. <laughs> so a belly band is simply a horizontal or vertical strip that goes over your page that you can then stick things in. I wanted to rem have a removable belly band so that I could put it anywhere in my journal. So that was the first thing that I wanted to try to figure out how I can make this removable. And as I did that, I discovered I could make a little pocket here on the front. And because it had to have three separate pieces then, I thought, well, that's a great idea to also have kind of a secret journaling spot as well or special things that you wanna make sure that you remember. So it's simply an 11 by two inch piece of 80 weight scrapbook paper. I tried to do it uh, on just regular 60 weight and it needed to be much stronger. I didn't want to do a full weight cardstock because I didn't want it to be too bulky in here in my journal. So I have discovered that this is about the right weight. So the first thing, of course, is to cut it. And so we're going to make a new one here that we can make together. So the tools that I have on my desk here are a couple different glues, wet and dry, uh, a glue stick and wet glue. Some stamping we're gonna do. Um, I have a couple, a corner punch and a hole punch. Um, I have this little tiny matchbook um, filled with cute little ready-made, pre-made tags. I've got some sari silk that we're going to put on the top of the tag. I've got some little bits of washi tape and some of those tags that we have already made in the last video that I punched out with my circle punch. And just some little scraps of paper that we are going to use to collage. 
I've got my scissors and I've got my my craft knife and I've got my brush which I'm not sure if I've showed you this little guy is really good for adding some soft inking on your items um, but I've got my little finger inker here and that's it so the first thing we need is paper I have my paper cutter and this is the scrapbook paper the 80 weight that I'm using um, having it it doesn't have to be double-sided um, as you can see here if you just wanted white uh, to use as your journaling side that's fine too I just liked this particular one I thought it had a lot of texture so this is plenty light enough to journal on but you can have it a single sided as well so we're going to cut now this is from a 12 by 12 so I'm going to cut it down to two inches and then we'll worry about the length so I'm just going to cut enough here and then I'm just gonna cut off an inch to make it 11 so now we have 11 inches by two I also have some collage papers of my own printed these out on pre it's digitally enhanced uh, paper to make it look like it's coffee dyed but it has made it a bit more vintagey and darker but these are just fabric collage that I have made that I then scanned in so I thought that would be kind of fun to use to uh, tear and make my collage on this so that's what I'm going to be using so the first thing we need to do is fold this now I'm going to give you exact measurements of this one but this is not something that you have to really measure if you wanted to you could just fold around your paper to to make it the size you need this is not an exact thing but obviously everybody's going to have a different size uh, paper so um, for this particular size uh, journal and my paper my paper itself is four inches tall so that's what I'm aiming at here I'm gonna have about an eighth of an inch more than that just to allow for the folds so the first fold that we want to make and I should bring in my so the first fold we want to make again for a four inch tall paper is two and five eighths. I'm gonna slide it down here. So I'm gonna make just a little mark so we want to have it two and one two I gotta get my glasses on so one, two, and one, two, three, four, five eighths. And then I'm going to fold that. And I'm gonna use my bone folder to make that fold. And then the next fold is going to be the where my paper will be. And so I'm giving that four inches and an extra eighth one two three four and an eighth and i'm just making sure that i'm lining it up with itself so it stays straight so for the next one we're going to flip it over and i'm just going to 
create the pocket now. So the pocket side is one and a half inches. So that is right here, one and a half. Fold that up. And now we have the basic structure of our belly band, pocket, bookmark, and drilling spot. And it, because I have a little extra wiggle room here, then you can add uh, several papers at a time and it still can come on and off. So next we need to do a little corner punching. So I'm just going to do the ends right now. And I want my pocket to have a similar one. And now I'm going to start inking. So now that the, my pocket is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and also do a corner punch on my pocket. So now I have this lovely little shape. And now I can finish inking. And I wanna be sure to not only get into those little divots or whatever, but also on my fold. Because that's where natural aging would be. Now we're gonna start decorating. I have these, as I said, um, from the leftover tags from last video. And I wanna decide which one I'm going to put on this. And I think, let's go with this big flower. So I'm also gonna ink this. Shouldn't have put my ink away. but I wanna do a little bit collage on this. So the front of my belly band, maybe I'll do a little, a little aging all over, is not going to have too much decoration. Just this little, what is the closure? So it's only going to be glued to half so that I can stick it under there for the closure. So I'm just gonna add a little collage, but the majority of the collage will be on the back here or the other side. It's not really a back because you'll see it when you flip through the pages. So what do I want on here? So I think I'm going to do similarly to the first one that I made. I'm just going to have a little piece of, this is, left over from a project. Uh, it was a digital print and I have no idea where I got it. So I cannot tell you what it is, but it's just kind of old vintage or antique advertising. So I'm just going to just do a little piece of it to have a little interest underneath my focal point. So let's see. I think I'm safe to put this down before I come up with a focal point because it's just a nice base. So I'm just using my glue stick 
my Scotch Create. And let's see, I want to see a little bit of that center of the flower there, so I'll just put it like that. And now we need a little focal point. I think I'm gonna go raid my stickers. I forgot to bring those. So I was looking for a butterfly that was small enough and I couldn't find one. But I do have this little antiquarian sticker book that I got on Amazon. So if you wanna look that up, I, it's in my list below. And I think I might be able to find one in here that's small enough. I hoard these because they're so, I just love them so much. Well, that might work. I don't know, it might blend in too much though. Let me see if I can find one with a little bit more contrast. And I suppose it doesn't have to be a butterfly, just what I had in mind. I was looking more at some kind of little creature that would spark joy. I love these little sticker books. Oh, hey, that would work. Let's do a little ladybug. Yeah, let's see. Yep, I like that. So this will give me a chance to do a little bit. Put my stickers away here. Okay, so this will give me a chance to do a little bit work with this little cool brush. Yeah, much better. So I'm not sure if you uh, can tell, but I'm in a different place. So the reason why this video is kind of late, I guess, I usually try to have one once a week, and this is a couple days late, is I am working on my new spaces, trying to organize them. It's just such a big job. And so I finally set up my crafting in a different spot. Um, it's much quieter in this room. So I'm actually in what I thought was just going to purely be my sewing room, but uh, it's going to now be a combination of sewing and crafting. And then my mom's bedroom, uh, which I had made into a studio, is now going to be kind of my office and editing area. Um, I might do a few things in there once in a while, but um, with the other folks in the house, it tends to be a very noisy room. So this one is much better for filming and for creating. And I have one window in here that I am able to get some natural light. So I think it's, it's going to work out just fine. So what I did is I moved up my kitchen table. So that's what this is, my kitchen table, which was my grandparents' um, kitchen table for my entire life. So it's kind of fun having that up here now too. And we'll just come up with a different table <laughs> downstairs. We never sit at the table. Okay, so now I want to put this closure on and the way I do it is I just kind of eyeball where, you know, kind of in half between this little flap and the, the uh, bottom 
So once I'm happy with the placement, then I'm, I'm going to hold it by the pocket because that part is not going to be glued. And I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to use my wet glue for this. And I'm just going to glue this exposed half circle part. So I put the glue on. I lay it on the bottom part and then I take the pocket out of there because I don't want to glue that accidentally in. So now we can wait until that's nice and dry. And then I will show you how the pocket goes in there nicely. But now we need to have fun doing our collage. So this is the orientation. Pocket on the top, closure on the bottom. So the collage will be this way. So this is when I'm going to be using my scanned collages. And I actually think that might be a little redundant to put lace, because this is kind of a lacy thing. So maybe I'll go with this one. And it doesn't really matter because everything look, would look cool. Uh, let, me, let me grab this piece. So I'm just gonna tear off a chunk and then decide size-wise. I'm just gonna do a tear. Okay, that works. Tear this. Maybe I want a little bit more of the color. So let's tear. This is something that I've learned recently is how you tear makes a difference, of course, because if you tear this way towards you, you're gonna have a white uh, edge of the paper. So tearing away from you is the best thing to do because then the, the white's on the bottom. Okay. So I'm just going to tear right there, and I think that's a good background for my collage. Oh, a little bit more. And do I want it like this or like this? I think I like it right there. So I'm going to go back to my glue stick. I should have inked it. Now we'll use this instead then. You know, it's funny when I first started watching paper crafters and journal makers, I thought, why does everyone ink? But if you are someone who really likes the vintage aesthetic, then you start to realize how it makes everything looks be look better. So it's kind of, I, I get bored just looking at something without this effect. It just looks too new and it looks too blah. This way it gives it much more depth and uh, obviously it pops out anything that you place on something else. And you don't want your things to look like you just purchased it or at least i don't all right so now we got to think about a focal point for this so i do have a bigger space here now and so i can play with some of my bigger butterflies and maybe try out that's kind of nice Let's 
goes to big to big no nope. well maybe that one will work so I want to put maybe a little bit more of this behind it and then maybe some washi tape and oh I do have some stamping I could do and then maybe a sentiment from that Tim Holtz book that I have just because it's easy <laughs> Oh, okay, so let's first get some old paper down. Okay. I'm going to be sharing some exciting things with you in the next couple weeks so stay tuned and please subscribe if you haven't already so that you will get notified and click the notification bell all right let's see if I can get this little guy off here I always find these difficult Oh, I got it. Amazing. And just for a little extra, I'll put some glue on there. Yeah, that's good. And what kind of sentiment can we find for this? About life is full of beauty. I might decide to do washi first. I was thinking I was going to put it under the butterfly, but maybe just right there. And let's see. This one's got more of the color. Too big. Just to give a little bit more depth to that. All right, let's do right there. And then finally, let's add a little stamp. What do I want to do here? I don't want it to be too black. Yeah, I like that. What do you think? I like it. So now that our closure is dry, we can stick that in there like that. So the last thing I want to do is I want to get one of my little tags out of here. Ooh. Maybe one with a little bit more color. That 
that'd be kind of nice. Again, you could totally make your own. It was just a little cheap thing. And I want to put a little sari silk on the top. And I'm just going to cut maybe like two inches, just a little tiny bit of something. Let's see if I can get it through. I can. I pulled too hard and I broke my tag. So I can reuse that in a different way. But for now, I grabbed another one. And instead of doing that kind of tie, I'm just going to stick it through and tie it. Maybe trim it just to give a little bit of a textile. So there we have it. Looking good. What do you think? I think it's a cute little thing. Very versatile. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me while I make this little contraption. <laughs> and that will do it for the embellishment series within a series. There's only one more video to finish off this big series on uh, these cute little journals. And I hope that you will join me for that. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.